now let us discuss here about DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This protocol is mainly useful in order to assign IP addresses to the computers that is to the host machines. DHCP allows DHCP server to configure the host machines dynamically. Here configuring is nothing but assigning IP addresses to the host machines dynamically. If you want to use the internet, then if you don't use DHCP protocol, then the network administrator, so that is nothing but internet people, has to enter the IP addresses details manually. So the network people has to enter IP address, IP address, next subnet mask, subnet mask, next default gateway, default gateway, next preferred DNS server, preferred DNS server, and the last one is alternative DNS server. So if you don't use DHCP protocol, then the network people has to enter these five details manually in the computer. Then only we can use the computer. So the network administrator has to enter IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, preferred DNS server, alternative DNS server. Suppose let us assume that it is a big organization which contains 10,000 computers. Then the network has people has to enter these five details in all the 10,000 computers. So it is very, very time consuming process. So in order to overcome that problem, in order to save the time, we are using the DHCP protocol. DHCP contains, DHCP server contains uh, a lakhs of IP addresses a pool of IP addresses. So now it is the duty of the DHCP server to assign IP addresses to all the uh, 10,000 hosts in the organization. So the DHCP server will provide all these five details to 10,000 computers in the corresponding organization. Now let's see how that can be happened. Here we have a network, uh, we have a client mission, DHCP client mission, router 1, router 2, DHCP server. DHCP is a application layer protocol. We know that the message will be transmitted from upper layer to the down layers. Uh, here it is a application layer protocol. So here we have application layer. So from this the message will be transmitted to the transport layer. From this the message will be transported to the network layer likewise. Okay. So at the application layer DHCP request message will be generated. So a computer wants some IP address. So a DHCP request message will be generated at application layer. So now that message will be transmitted to the transport layer. At the transport layer, DHCP request message will be encapsulated, will be placed in UDP packet. So now UDP packet contains DHCP request message and the port numbers 68, 67. Here 67 is nothing but the port number of DHCP server. Whereas 68 means the port number of client mission. So those port numbers will be appended. Next, yet, uh, and then that message, that packet will be transmitted to the network layer. So in network layer, this UDP packet will be encapsulated in IP packet. So now IP packet contains these three details as well as it will contain two IP addresses. So the first IP address is 0.0.0.0, second IP address is 255.255.255.255. So this 0.0.0.0 specifies that I don't know my IP address, I want my IP address. Whereas 255.255.255.255 is a broadcast address. So that address will be transmitted over the network. So for all the missions in the network that uh, uh, that uh, that packet will be transmitted okay 
now what dhcp client will do is dhcp client will broadcast this ip packet over the network so now r1 r2 dhcp server will receive that uh, ip packet r1 and r2 simply ignores the packet why because they don't know that information whereas dhcp server contains a pool of ip addresses so now dhcp server will uh, will will reply will reply the corresponding ip address to the dhcp client so that reply may be either broadcast packet or unicast packet also why because now dhcp server knows the address of the client machine so it can directly send also okay so here request packet is broadcast packet whereas reply packet is it may be either broadcast or unicast packet now let's see how that can be happened with the help of your diagram uh, here we have a dhcp client and dhcp server so totally four packets are used here so first dhcp client sends dhcp server packet to the dhcp server so dhcp client is sending dhcp discover packet to the dhcp server machine so what does this dhcp discover packet will contain it contains simply this packet information dhcp request packet information such as dhcp request messages and port numbers 0.0.0.0 as well as this messages so it will send all those details to the dhcp server so we may have multiple dhcp servers so now what will happen is uh, uh, the corresponding dhcp server will sense dhcp server accepts dhcp discover packet and it, it and it will sense dhcp offer packet to the dhcp client machine okay so what does this dhcp offer packet will contain it, it contains mainly these five details ip address subnet mask default gateway preferred dns server alternative dns server okay so now dhcp server is providing all those details to the dhcp client in the form of dhcp offer packet so now here what will happen is uh, we may have multiple dhcp servers so dhcp client may receives multiple dhcp offer request packets now D, now dhcp client will accept one of the dhcp offer and it will provides dhcp request messages to the corresponding dhcp server so out of all the offers it will accept one offer and it is sending request to that server so this request message will contain i am ready to accept your details so please provide your details to me so that i can use the internet so now dhcp server uh, will uh, uh, so now what will happen dhcp server will receives the dhcp request packet and it will provides dhcp acknowledgement to the dhcp client so here thus the acknowledgement specifies so dhcp server will lease all those credentials for some time so let us assume that uh, it is giving lease for two days so it is providing that information to the dhcp client so now dhcp client can use all these details for two days so after the two days it has to renewal one more time so in this way an ip address will be assigned to the computer dynamically so this is about dhcp